Okay, so here's where we left off in our last one. We've got this kind of action going on. And now I'm going to have, now on this second set, let's finish off this scene. Let's time it. Let's get our timing down and our um, camera action. All right. So what do I like and what don't I like? I like the overall motion, assuming that my camera is going to be right about here. Okay. Um, but it's this it's that I'd like there to be just a little bit more of a pause in that cock right there in between there alright well that's easy enough let's just select everything notice where my green line is I'm gonna control click and that selects this frame over here and I'm gonna extend it I press the E key and that will extend it however many frames and it's telling me over on the lower left there I can't move my cursor over there because then it'll move my keyframes with it. But you see where it says Delta X in the lower left corner? Delta X, let's give me an extra half second or so. So 12 frames. Okay. And I didn't like that. So let's undo that. Okay. So this action, I'd like him to pause just a little bit right there. And so I'm going to insert a frame right here. And now I'm going to extend this stuff. Again, it was that Control E key. Oh, I am surprised. Oh, I know what I did. All right. Let's go back and close that up. But it's really, it's this position that I want to extend. So let's insert a keyframe for every bone right there. And that little position in the middle, let's extend that out. So click, bam, click click bam click bam and now the problem with this is I don't like notice how the legs stop too I don't want to do a stop on the I mean it's it could be a cool slow motion effect you know you're going really fast you know you know that sort of thing but that's not what I'm going for I just want him to like lock his his to, to get that stuff in position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that leg bone and possibly, let's just start off and let's see what happens if I just take this leg bone and get that into position right away. Uh, that didn't work. Okay, let's do the same with the chest. Or actually I should say the abdomen. I don't like that either. All right, well, here's what we'll do. We'll just take his... In fact, let's take the chest and the legs and let's get them in position. Let's get them into position early. Let's see what happens here. Alt click. Alt click. Notice what happens. Alt click. Alt click. Alt click. Alt click. Shift alt click. Alt click. Shift alt click. Let's get the legs into position pretty quick. All right, so now we need to tweak here. Something's up with that chest. Let's, uh, let's, well, it's all the same. It hasn't moved. So here's what I want to do. But it sure looks like it's moved. No, it's moved. Okay. I just was, it has, its position hasn't moved, but its rotation has. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that keyframe. And let's look at it full speed. So I'm going to end it here. I'm going to press the E key, and I'm going to start it here, S key. And I'm not watching it full speed. You can tell because it says up there, 20 frames per second. Now, how do I get it to run full speed? Frame dropping. That means if it can't make it to 24 frames per second, it'll just skip a few frames as it needs to in order to get up to what you need it to be. So it may only say 20 right there, but it is actual full speed. And as you can see, this overall motion is pretty slow, so I'm going to have to scale it all. 
Okay, so here's my plan. What I want him to do is I want him to go too far here, and then he's going to recoil a little bit and then extend. So it's going to be like, so I'm going to take this position. I'm going to copy it, copy it, paste it, and then I'm going to extend it here. So it's gone too far now. Okay, so do you kind of see he's gone too far and then he's got to undo it? All right, and now the difference is I think I want to go in the other direction. Uh, no. And then I want to pause just a little bit in this position. So I just inserted a keyframe when it was nearly at this position, and then I extended, I moved it back. Okay, so so you see he goes too far, adjusts, pauses, and then extends. Goes too far, adjusts, pauses, extends. Okay, so how does that look full speed? Too far, pause, extend. Too far, and I want his whole body to kind of follow the same motion, especially his chest maybe. So his chest goes, his chest is going to be right there. His chest goes too far. Uh, that didn't work. Unless I speed up that chest movement. All right, let's see here. Let's, uh... So timing can be a lot of just, you know, just tweaking. Shoo. He goes too far. Okay, and then when he extends, what generally happens is to compensate, his arm goes forward, so the rest of his body is going to have to compensate by shifting its weight just a little bit. So when he extends, I'm going to insert a keyframe right there, and I'm just going to shift his weight ever so slightly. Boom. 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 Okay, do I like that motion? Let's take a look. Okay, I want to do a little bit of overshoot with that cock motion too. So he, he goes too far, and now he throws it down, and he goes too far down. Okay, so this arm, I'm going to get that into, let's see, so he cocks it goes too far, brings it down, but he brings it down too far. So I'm going to overshoot there. And if that's the case, his chest needs to overshoot a little bit too. Doom. So it's like his whole chest convulses a little bit. Okay, and now I probably just want to get rid of that key. delete that key. Okay. 
All right, let's see it full time. All right. Bam. All right. Bam. Now, overall, it's slow. Okay, so let's speed it up. Now, let's just notice how where I've got the green line. Control click over here. If I were to put the green line there, control click, control click, control click, control click, control click, control click, control click. All right, so anyway, his motion starts here. Control click. Bam. Now let's just scale it back maybe, I don't know, 75%. If you look at that lower left there, I'm just taking a guess. All right, let's just see what that does, okay? Let's see how that looks full time. Now, it's really his step that's, I mean, his arm motion and stuff is not bad. It's just that step part that I don't like. So basically, it's this gap right here that I don't like. So I'm just going to close that gap off. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, now I'm liking that. All right, he thrusts himself forward. Cock, bam. Cock, bam. Cock, bam. Cock, bam. Okay, cock, bam. All right. 